Hi, in this video I'll continue with this pool table vector graphic. I started a while ago and by the way it's not finished yet. I'm going to do some improvements, also going to create pool balls, queue and add textures. But for now let's go back to the graphic from the last tutorial. I'm going to put links on the video for each part of this tutorial. They are going to open in new tabs, so if you haven't seen part 1 and 2, check them out. And before I start, let me go back to the other graphic. I want to explain something. In this video, I'm going to start making these parts. And about the angle here, I'm not sure if this is the correct angle. I didn't do any research, I just experimented until I thought that it looks good. But if you want to have the correct angle, you can go ahead and do a research. And the trick that I'm going to use to make sure this is the same angle here for each of these can work on any angle. So do your research if you want to and you can use another numbers but pretty much the same trick. So let's get started. With this tool I'll create a rectangle and for the width I'm going to type 12 pixels and for the height to 70. Next I'm going to grab the Select and Transform tool and holding down the shift key, I'm going to click and select this rectangle. After that, click on this option for the align and distribute dialog. And for relative to, make sure you have last selected. Then I'll select this option and then this one. And if you're not familiar with this dialog, you can check out the beginner's guide videos where I explain it in detail. Now let's click away and then select only this rectangle then select this tool and then this option which will convert the selected object to a path next thing I want to do is drag a guide and if I click on this area and drag you see that I will drag a guide at 45 degrees angle and if I mouse over the guide you can see down here at the status bar guideline at 45 degrees so here is where you can check the angle and also some useful keyboard shortcuts now if you double click on the guide you'll get this dialog and here you can change the angle very easy or you can do that by mousing over the guide and holding down the shift key you're going to get this arrows and then you can just rotate the guide but it's much easier to just type in in this dialog so I'm going to type 46 degrees click enter then click OK Next thing I want to do is grab this guide, position it here, then I'm going to zoom in and position this guide at the edge of this brown rectangle. Next I want to make sure that I have this tool selected, then I'll click on the red rectangle and I'm going to grab this node and position it over here. Next let's double click on the guide and just type in minus and then click OK. And again, let's grab this guide, move it over here, position it at the edge, and then make sure I grab this node. And by the way, you can hold down the control key, snap this here, and then we can just mouse over the guide and hit the delete key to remove it. Now, next thing I'm going to do is select the Select and Transform tool, Control D to duplicate this. Then I'm going to use this option to flip it. And then I'm going to shift click and select this rectangle. Then I'm going to use this option to align it. So I'm going to stop now and continue probably tomorrow. And I know that this is going very slow, but it's a pretty big project and I want to give you as much details as I can I don't want to skip anything and also even if you're not interested in learning how to create a pool table I'm sure that the whole process can teach you a lot of useful tricks that you can apply to your projects 